and welcome to another edition of Spinnaker Plugin Demos. I'm Clay McCoy, I'm an engineer at Armory, and I'm going to talk about plugin project structure, the build system, and releases. Here we have our plugin for a random weight stage that we've shown in other demos. So we use a Gradle build and custom plugin created by Netflix to bundle up our Spinnaker plugin. So let's look at some of the notable files. At the top level here, we have the settings Gradle, where you give the name of the project and the name of sub projects. You'll notice the Orca component of random weight, and it's also got a debt component. We have a Gradle properties file where we keep the versions of notable dependencies. Plugin bundler that I was referring to earlier. PF4J, Cork, and Orca, because they're important for this project. Here in our build Gradle, we bring in the Spinnaker plugin bundler, and there's a few fields related to that. Here we apply the plugin, and in here we put in some meta data about the plugin, like the ID, a description, where it came from, and that sort of thing. We're getting the version from another plugin that basically takes it off of the tag for that commit. The term plugin is confusing here because we're talking about two different kinds. There are Gradle plugins for the bundler and versioning, but this project itself is a Spinnaker plugin. So if we look at our sub projects, there's two of them that we mentioned earlier, DEC and ORCA. These are the components of this plugin that go to each of the services. Now let's take a look at the Gradle build of the ORCA component. What's notable here is how we can supply values to the Spinnaker Gradle plugin to tell it what the service name is that this goes to and where the plugin class lives. You also put your dependencies for the plugin here. This project also has a deck component that looks a little different. Most of the build is done using JavaScript and Node files, but there is a Gradle file that really just delegates to the Spinnaker Gradle plugin's UI extension. The Spinnaker Gradle plugin offers a few useful tasks. The main one to look at is the release bundle. Let's look at what's produced when we run release bundle. At the top level, you'll now find this build directory. Under it, the useful things are under distributions. The zip file has bundled up all the components of this plugin. And this is what you can deliver to Orca service to run this plugin. This plugin info JSON contains metadata about your plugin. This is what we put in the plugins repository. Of course, we add a URL to the actual artifact. You can see the ID for the plugin and the version, among other metadata. There are also build directories under the components. This one under the Orca component has a useful file that's a plugin ref. This is what you'll use for debugging your plugin inside of Orca. If you look at this project on GitHub, you'll see several badges. We have a badge that indicates that the current build is passing based on the last commit. We've got a badge that says that we're up to date with the latest Quark and also with the latest Orca. These are powered by GitHub Actions that build on every commit and are constantly looking for new Quark and Orca dependencies. And if they compile and the test pass, they automatically get updated. If not, we get a notification. You can see those GitHub actions here. Releases of the plugin happen automatically when you make a tag that starts with a V representing a version number. When we encounter breaking changes with Cork or Orca or any Spinnaker service we depend on, we increment the minor version number. On every release, we also update the example plugin repository. You can see this most recent commit, which added an entry for the latest version of a plugin. 